So off to the gym, trying to make a change. I used to be really healthy three years ago and I'm trying to invest in my physical and mental health and uh, I think physical fitness is a really good healthy way to do that. I'm seeing Lorianne in March, good excuse to get fit for the sunshine and first adventure. So yeah, I'm going to be filming progress. All the best. Well, hello. I'm packing up my car and my flat. I'm really, I'm a bit sad, but I have to go like three flights of stairs. So look at this. Come on, you. Bodge up. Bodge up. Good girl. Whoops, sorry. Hey. So we're going to go to the storage yard now and um, drop off all the stuff and then tomorrow my landlord's come in, I'm having my furniture removed, so yeah, I'm not feeling very well today, um, which sucks. I have to go like three flights of stairs just to carry like one box down, so it's like <laughs> a really long process. Now I've got like a teeny tiny car as well, but we're going to get there, don't we? Leader staying at my parents tonight because um, I've got the um, like I say like the removals come in in the morning to pick up. I'm donating my furniture to charity and my landlord's coming with a new tenant. That's all very good. Did you just burp? Yeah, it's one of those days. I'm very very tired. I always like to kick off the video like, hey guys, how's it doing? But I'm absolutely buggered today very low on energy aren't we we didn't sleep very well something woke us up around about half five and uh it was really really strange i'm not really supernatural or anything like that but it was like there were people in my room i woke up and i felt like my room was being broken into when i woke up leela was staring at the wall and i went over to her and she was just shaking all over so yeah, that was very, very, very strange. But this house is, it's always had like really good vibes, so it's really strange. But anyway, I'm gonna get to this storage container now. Wish me luck! And Ta -da! So I had this storage container when I moved to Australia a few years ago because I haven't had a permanent address in so long and moving house and everything. It's like £50 a month. It's been awesome just to have somewhere where I'm not inconveniencing anyone. I don't have to rely on anyone. This is my space and this is where all our mass business is. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my god. How is everything falling over? Just makes you think how much stuff does anyone actually need. I shared this with my mate Tommy, but I think he's probably got 2% of his stuff in there. Um, but yeah, just got so much more to do. God, I think it's going to take another three trips. I hate moving house so much. Oh, God. Barney joking, you think I'll forget you? Mm. Thanks, spaces and places. Well done. Hide the coach. 
Easter until another day. Oh, are you driving? Didn't think so. Alright, let's actually go home for good now. Come on then, babes. Let's go. So, after how many hours we've been at this, Mum? It's all day hours. Got one car full, two cars. Ugh. Still got stuff to put in. We want a glass of wine, don't we, Mum? Yeah. So, we spent all day doing that. Yeah. We're now going to do the last bit of cleaning. I'll show you what that looks like. But nothing in. Uh -oh. I'm not going to miss these stairs. <laughs> Finally moved out. Everything. It's a happy new year. 2020. New start. Oh. Well, hello. I'm all moved. I'm all moved out of the flat. And um, I've moved into my friend Steve's house. Hello. I used to live here a few years ago before I moved to Australia and I had the best time. It's nice to have the company and um, yeah, so the plan's going forward. Um, I'm moving into the caravan. Oh, beautiful evening as the sun sets on the wharf and Elizabeth's new home. Fantastic. On Monday, uh, it's Thursday now, I think. So since I've moved in, I've been hitting the gym every single day to look after my physical health. It's, it's free happiness, isn't it? When you go to the gym and you get all the endorphins. It feels nice, doesn't it? Yes, she agrees. Um, yeah, so I've been going to the gym every day just for like half an hour. Did you like that? I'm going to the gym every single day just for half an hour. More for like mental well-being as well. To I get like the endorphin boost. Um, so I, I run like two kilometers, and that takes uh, well, it takes about 16 to 18 minutes. And then I do weights, and it's just a really nice way to kickstart my day. And uh, yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I'm aching all over, but I feel really good because I'm now making like a physical change in myself and I've been in a really good mood every single day. I put on some weight since I came uh, back off this. When I first went um, to South Africa, I think I weighed about 64 kilos and now that's like 75 kilos and I was so healthy when I moved to South Africa I could run, I could walk, I was so fit I was physically enjoyed so much and I think just after the past few years of partying and finding myself now my, my mental well-being is, is, is feeling really good at the moment so I want to take care of my body now because now I'm in my early 30s I really want to be able to go for a run again and do more outdoor pursuits I want to go kayaking I want to learn how to surf and the things that I don't have the strength to do and because I don't have the strength to do them I don't enjoy doing them so I'm just more going to the gym to build up my strength I'm eating really good food I'm picking foods that are really good for your well-being it's just going to be a caravan on the field on the boatyard and I'm going to be on that until the boat's habitable. I've signed up to a gym down in the area so go in the morning and have a shower. I don't think I'm going to be able to cook on the caravan but there's a microwave on site so what I'm going to be doing once a week I'm going to be going to my mother's house uh, or my sister's house and cooking all my meals for the week and put them in the tubs 
and uh, putting them in the freezer at the boatyard at work so then I can you know defrost and eat healthy food on the on the go it's going to be a huge challenge I wouldn't say it's hugely ideal but uh, it's just going to be for like a month maybe two and I'm trying to see it as an adventure and look all the work that I'll put through put forward in the winter means that I can just enjoy the boat in spring summer and I'll be having a lovely jug of pims and I'll be sunbathing I'll be there. yeah I feel really really good so yeah the past month I've been running I've been eating really well over Christmas oh, I ate everything because Christmas food is just so good I think I drank a lot as well. But yeah, that's the thing. So from Monday onwards, there's gonna be a lot more boat videos, a lot more boatyard stuff. And I'm gonna be showing you all the guys at the boatyard um, on their different boats and what projects they're doing. But yeah, it's... Um, don't ever choose an easy way, do I? Never choose like an easy route, but the easy route's boring. So might as well you know, write a story for yourself, hey? This is just one of those weird, kooky chapters. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Anyway, that's my update, just quickly. And yeah. Who's that? Anyway, I'm gonna go and make a cup of tea and have some lunch. Catch you later. Bye.